The 2022 models are here and there's a lot to pick from. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ST and we're gonna be talking about the special. And if you are in the market and you're looking for one of these bikes, hopefully this video helps you choose the right bike. What up? Welcome back to the video, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about the ST Rogue Glide at that and the special Rogue Glide at that as well. We're gonna be comparing them. Um, there is a lot of differences this year, and besides those two, there's also a standard. So if you are looking, let's say, for a Rogue Glide or a special, you're gonna be looking at the base model, which is the standard. You're gonna be looking at the special, which is next, and now the ST, and then you also have the CVO. So there's like four choices for you to choose from. Uh, so depending on what little money sector you're at here, you're also gonna be choosing. But in specific today, we're gonna be talking about the ST and the Special alone. The ST right now, to me, is probably the nicest looking option for me right now when it comes to the Special and the ST. Let's talk about what I like about the ST and what I like about the Special. You guys already know, I have my 2021 Rogue Lab Special here, which I absolutely love, that's, that's my baby right there. Um, but if the ST would have came out last year, I, I honestly don't know which route I would have gone. I might have gone with the ST, to be honest. Um, now with the ST, let's talk about looks. What are you gonna be getting with the ST as opposed to the Special? The ST, you're gonna be getting the shorter bags in the back. You're no longer gonna have those stretch bags. So if you are one of those people who are like me, who like 201s, that might be a great choice for you. Um, I went with the two into two just because I don't like that. I don't like that gap in the back uh, with the stretch bags. You know they're stretching the back, so when you put a two into one, you're gonna have a big gaping hole in the back on the other side. Or if you go with a really short pipe, you're gonna have two weird looking holes in the back. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of that. Um, I've seen a ton of people doing it, but not my cup of tea. The ST is also gonna bring that shorter front fender in the front, which looks absolutely beautiful. Like I really love that touch on it. And then the back fender is gonna be different as well. Now you're also gonna have the same exact wheel, just in a gold bronze color that comes on the low rider S. That's uh, the same color wheel that you're gonna have on either ST Rogue Glide or the ST Street Glide. And then to top it off, the ST is also gonna come with that one up seat. Uh, the special comes with the two up stock seat. Um, so big huge difference right there. Now for the ST, you're only gonna have two color options, which is gonna be the Gunship Gray and then the Vivid Black. On the special, you're gonna have several, several options and you're gonna have that two-tone color option this year. Similar to mine, mine's a red and black. Um, you're gonna have that deep blue and black color, which looks amazing. I love that color combo they came out with this year. And then a bunch of other different colors, which look great. I really like the colors from this year. I think they did a really good job picking out those colors. Now, from the looks department, that's gonna be it, guys. You're gonna have the front and rear fender shorter. You're gonna have that same wheel that's on the special, just in that bronze or gold color. You're gonna have that solo see on the ST as well, the shorter bags, and that's gonna be pretty much it. Now that we have spoken about what makes the bikes look different, let's dig a little bit deeper and let's talk about what makes a bike feel different. Now, on both the Special and the ST, you're gonna have the RDRS system, which is amazing. I have it on my bike and I really, really love it. I tend to use it all the time and it has even saved my butt once or twice already. But there's two things that the Special is gonna have that the ST is not gonna have. And number one is being cruise control. I'm not sure why they didn't put cruise control in the ST. Number two is security. The ST does not have security either. And to be honest, that's pretty much gonna be the only difference. The special is gonna come with cruise control and that security system, but that's what makes it different. Now let's talk about power because that's the number one thing that's kind of the eye opener right now. Um, the special is gonna come with the 114 Milwaukee 8. The ST is gonna come with the 117 Milwaukee 8. A lot of people care about more power. People want more power. Do I want more power on my bike? Yes. So that 117 compared to the 114, it might give you 10% to 15% power difference. Not a huge, huge difference. Just by doing a stage two on a 114, basically almost the same. So. Now that 117 is also gonna come with that pretty nice heavy breather air cleaner on the ST. I'm a big fan of the design of that, it looks really cool. 
Don't forget that the air cleaner on the special is also a heavy breather. It's just a different design. So they're both heavy breather air cleaners. They just look different. Now, let's talk about surcharge this year because you are gonna have to pay an $800 surcharge on baggers this year. I'm not sure how much it's gonna be on the smaller bikes, but I know for a fact that on the baggers, you are gonna be paying $800 in surcharge just based on raw materials and a bunch of stuff that's been going on the past year. Things are becoming a bit more expensive to build. And let's face it, these companies are not gonna be eating it all up anymore. Um, it's been two years already, and most of the companies, they have been covering everything, but step into this new year now, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a business. Uh, you're not gonna lose money. And talking about money, let's talk about the big number in the room. For the special, you're gonna be paying 27,000 what the 499 or 449 something like that and for the SC you're gonna be paying 29999 and this here is the reason why I kind of wanted to leave the price for the end of the video because I just kind of want to talk about what makes the bikes different um, and if money is not an issue then you're either gonna go with the special or go with the ST depending on what you like depending on what you want there's some people out there who do prefer stretch bags, so obviously that group is gonna go with the special. There's a lot of people out there who don't want the stretch bags anymore because they want that clean look of the short bags. They want the 201 looking real nice. They want that performance baggers look. Now, in my opinion, I think you are getting a lot more bike for your buck with the special as opposed to the ST. Just for the simple fact that it comes already with cruise control and the security. Um, and if you are a fan of the stretch bags, you already have that. It already comes with the two up. So if you kind of want to rock out with the, with the stock seat for a long time, you do have the option to have your partner ride with you in the back. So that's a plus. Um, so to me, you're kind of getting more bike for your buck with the special. But if you are a person who you're probably not going to ride around with people in the back, um, I mean, the ST is fine if you want more of a stripped down type of look. Um, I, I honestly, I would still go with the ST just because I want that gun strip gray. That color is beautiful. Um, I prefer the shorter bags. I'm a huge fan of the gold brondish wheels and I just love those shortened fenders they came out with. And then the 117 is more power. So to me, if I had to buy a bike today, yes, I would probably go with the gun strip gray ST over the special but it's uh, a little bit too late for that now because i've yeah i've had my bike for a little while already and there's no way i'm gonna trade this bike up for an st because the way i have this bike set up already it's uh perfection now if you are in the market let me know what you're looking at either a street glide or a road glide are you leaning towards more to the st or are you still a huge huge fan of the special if you're a big baller and you're getting a CVO, also let me know what CVO you're getting down there because the colors for the CVOs this year are amazing. Uh, special little touches they've done with them. They look great. I know someone who ordered one already. It's coming in and I cannot wait to see that bike, throw a leg over her and see how she really feels. Um, if you wanna see more content like this, tune in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Um, for the STs, guys, I'm going to be riding the new STs in a few days out in Arizona. Yeah, uh, yeah, Harley Davidson's flying me out to go ride the new STs. And to top it off on a track. So, tune in for those videos. Tune in for a lot more stuff coming by. Thanks for watching. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.